Soon, you won't be able to go to Cherry Creek Mall without paying for parking, no matter how quickly you shop. Popular Denver Mall is ending its first hour free parking policy. Yeah, the mall says it will save you money in the long run, but shoppers, not so quick to buy that. Cherry Creek Mall has control of the parking in the garages and the lots outside the old Bed Bath & Beyond and the new Container Store location. Sean Chinnis joins us live with this new fee structure to explain it all. Sean? Well, Dominic and Karen, the mall says that they are having to make this change so that they can help out the people who are actually shopping here at Cherry Creek. But well, we talk to customers who come here regularly and they say they shouldn't have to pay because other people are taking advantage of the free parking. Paying for parking. It's getting harder to avoid almost anywhere you go. And now the Cherry Creek Shopping Center will be another place making that change. We're going to the mall to shop at the mall, and they're benefiting from that. Debbie and Mark Waldy shop there often. They say the first hour free is an incentive they enjoy and expect. It is a mall, and they have to keep that in mind. But mall staff say charging for the first hour is a necessary move to make sure everyone spending money can find a spot. What we've noticed is that a lot of people not shopping at the shopping center are taking advantage of the parking. So now the first hour will cost you $2, but if you spend less than two hours at the mall, which most shoppers do, General Manager Jeremy Birkinshaw says you'll end up saving a dollar. This is a step to enhance the guest experience to ensure that as you come to the shopping center, you always have premium parking available. Still, loyal shoppers say this charge shouldn't be placed on them. They could charge maybe higher rates later to deal with that problem without charging us to go to Macy's for an hour. And they may consider visiting the mall less often because of it. I think we'd be walking a lot more. I think it could slow business down. So you can still get free parking if one of the stores chooses to validate your ticket. You can go online to see the more than a dozen stores that still do that. This new change is going to take effect on January 21st. Live tonight in Denver, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First. All right, Sean, thank you.